like everything else we do, we don't build it because we want to, we build it because we need it. Using a, a $360,000 flight trainer uh, is not a, is, is undoable. That you can't make a business, you can't make the financials work when the only two airplanes on the market today that are good, reliable, proven, beat them with a hammer uh, flight trainers, the, uh, the Archer and the 172 are now over $350,000 a piece. In order to make everything else in flight training work, this had to work also. The Red Hawk uh, aircraft, which is a zero-timed uh, used 172, completely refurbished, with a brand new uh, Continental diesel engine and new avionics as a project that we decided to build. If you're going to build a less expensive trainer, it ought to be less expensive to operate too. So we put together a group of companies with the same interest we had in building a low-cost trainer that was already certified and could go directly into service with Continental uh, Motor and Mobile, the, the Teelard engine, uh, uh, Bendix King, uh, Aspen, and, and the two most important companies in, in that group being the finance company and the insurance company. And the reason they were so important and the reason we had to get them first was because if you're going to refurbish aircraft, turn them into new aircraft, you have to be able to explain to the finance company why a 1982 Skyhawk is worth $200,000. And we got these two great companies together. They understood the model. Uh, they signed up for it, and we were off to the races. We marked up the outside of the plane with, uh, with all, what, here's what this component is, and here's what it does, and and uh, had a little fun with it. Uh, about ha half of the ideas we came up with, we actually couldn't put on the airplane. And uh, the plan is that every single airplane that comes out of that factory is going to be done in that way. So it's a very unique look, and. And, uh, and uh, but that's, you know, that's, that's us, uh, that's forever, you know, <laughs> you're not having fun. So about a year ago we started building this aircraft in secret and I, we've done a pretty good job of not letting anybody know what's going on. And we flew the aircraft up here from San Marcos uh, a week ago and burned four and a half gallons an hour on the way up here at 8,000 feet and 121 knots, pretty good. One of the things I really like about this airplane is how simple it is, especially the, en the, you know, the, the engine for the students. It's got a single control which controls a, the prop you know, and the mixture, it's a FADEX system. So you can't over rev it and you can't cold shock it. You know, all the bad things that students do to, do to, do to engines. And so the student can really concentrate on learning to fly an airplane. And it isn't that learning to, how to lean an engine isn't important, but there are more important things going on for students in their early days. And, uh, and we think that's a real advantage, you know, as trainers go. And, you know, if you make your transition later on into an airplane and you have to learn how to lean it, that's what you have to learn, not how to fly the airplane. It's not a, a product ready for sale, but it's one we're, uh, we're going to be testing, the Skyport, uh, flight training laboratory in San Marcos for the next six months just to see how this and three more models exactly like it do in a flight training environment. And the uh, development partners are looking at new processes too like kitting up uh, avionics sets for the manufacturing process and for the engine and these other things. So that's the plan, you know, and I, I'd like to see us, may, if we go forward with this project, deliver between 30 and 50 in 2014.